Saturday the 6th, oh, I can't even remember, Saturday the 6th of April 2019 time, 06.44 hours, British summer time, red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning, Lolfest 6th day. It's cold at the moment but it's supposed to warm up later. I'd appreciate a little bit of warming up to be honest. First stop, Costa Coffee, then the uphill, then the Bragdy Tut Lol Brewery. I'm in the Markham Uphill, as you can see by the carpet. P.S. Mr. Manning, carpet. And there are tons of festival ales on here today, and it ends tomorrow, so I might have to go on to Howes before I head over to Bragdy Tut Lol. Talking of Bragdy's, this is Bragdy Conway. Uh, Conway without an A in North Wales, not far from Llandidno, Lovely Castle. Kodiak American Brown, 5% alcohol by volume. The head has sunk a bit. Carrying on our conversation on me, we craft beer enthusiast. Enthusiast forum. I think that was a bacon roll. Might have had alcohol in it. Mmm, it smells a hops. Tingly, slightly spicy, slightly fruity, hint of tropical nuts, nicely complex, nice bit of finish. <coughs> I like that. That's be plus in a bit. And we're off. And the sun has come out. Anyway, this is chalk and orange stout from Black Sheep. And it says, chocolate orange stout, natural orange flaked oats, chocolate black malt, cascade hops, 5% alcohol by volume. Um, sort of coffee, stroke, orange aroma. Mm. Get orange. Get burnt notes. Coffee. There's a bitter finish. Burnt notes. That's not bad. I think it we would need to grow on you. And it's most certainly an adult drink because it tastes quite strong. But I'm gonna give that B plus in a bit because that's not your ordinary beer. Cody, this one's for you. Look how dark it is. Well, this is unique for year 3001. Yep, they've hit 3k today. This is Blooming, a euphemism for probably a swear word. Blooming Marvellous from St. Peter's, 4.1% alcohol by volume, a pale ale. Relatively pale, more sort of amberish, but whatever. A pound and a half. I'm not going to sniff at that. Mm, sort of multi sweet aroma. Mm. Spicy. Quite spicy, actually. A little thin. A spicy body, spicy finish. I'm going to call that. Oh, hang on. Right at the very end, there's a bit of this. I'm call that B plus. Spicy and... Um, yeah, no, what I just said. I need to get going. Um, so, it's a good job this is a half. From the historic naval dockyard in Chatham. This is the Nelson Rui. Cut nine tails, 4% alcohol by volume. Sunny. That's the, um, yeah. Mm, small tea, sweet. Little thin. Nice mouth feel though. Gently bitter. B plus. Oh, there's the 120. I'm catching the next one. Well, the 
sun's come out and it gives a little warmer. There's still a chill wind and it's that way. It looks a bit shut but I'm a bit early. I have a feeling. I'm not sure actually. But what the hell? Bragdy took Law, Lolfair 6. I'm going in. Please start. And bad medicine. Anyway, a taster. Pretty fly for the magpie. A hoppy IPA, it says. 5% alcohol, it says. What it doesn't say is it's excellent. B. <clears throat> anyway, so it smells hoppy. And it tastes wonderfully hoppy, fruity, a little bit tropical. I wonder what that is. He said unknowingly. This is Wolfell 6. Wolfell. Wolfell 6. Oh my. One of these is for the US of A. Superfly for the Magpie is now added to. <laughs> Untapped. I gotta talk with Phil. Not only, but also. It's a malt. It's really good here today. Mm. And it's warm and sunny. The music from Newcastle. Some simple coke. And I'm not altogether sure this is what's meant by dry hopping. But I'm going to go for it. And why not? I'm reading a Brewer's Order magazine. So, this is a... Well, there isn't a pump clip for it because it's a hybrid. It's two-thirds horny goat, one-third crazy peacock. It's a oh, trail. This one. No, this is... The pretty flavour from Magpie. No, not that. Well, no. Oh, you bought a different one of you. Um, if you see that whole pretty flavour from Magpie, yeah. And there's a na the last cask. It's got nothing on it, and that's what this is. Oh, it's blended. Yes. Right. What are you thinking of it then? I'm thinking it's good. Yeah. I'm getting Probably grapefruit like in there. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Is it's grapefruity, citrusy. It's excellent, actually. <laughs> That's a B. <laughs> oh my, I forgot. Anyway, this glass, especially approved, pint, half pint, third of a pint. Ooh. Emergency gas recovery. Anyway, this is Peach Melbe by Baytown. I think it's 4.4%. I have no idea. I think I'm going. I think I'm going, actually. However, still hot. About new gas arriving. Yay! Back you guys. Of course, propane. Just as well, because it can get cold in there. Oh, it's very tropical. Oh, wonderful. That is a B plus plus. Very, very tropical. 